Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my fourth update. I think it is fourth update for my Project Pen Roulette year-long Project Pen. Is that right? Yes, something like that. Uh, this is a rolling Project Pen Roulette style, which means I'm working on it all year long and then as I finish an item, I replace it with another item, but I pick it out of a category at a random from a random category. So I never know what I'm gonna get until I film this video. So as of last update, I was able to finish one, two, three, four items. Four items, so I'm gonna start with those first. The first one was uh, for the category of product that you've owned for more than a year or something like that. And for that, I went with the Lumine CC Cream uh, in the color light. This was a foundation. Ooh, ooh, ooh. there you go. Uh, foundation and I used it up I had to this was a little bit too light for me oh, it's happening again my last video also had lighting issues but anyway uh, this was a foundation that was a little bit too light for me and I had to use it mixed with another foundation with a darker foundation but finally I used it up liked it but this was well expired this expired December 2015 I know, I know probably you guys are like, why were you still using it? But I think it was, it, the SPF obviously was no good, but the, actually the product, it was okay. It didn't break me out and didn't give me any reaction or anything. So I used it, uh, but don't worry, that is gone forever. Then the other category ooh, that I finished was for a color that you don't normally wear or a color that's out of your comfort zone, something like that. And I had chosen the color Graffiti from this Urban Decay palette. And I hit pan, you guys. Woo -woo. I was very happy that I was able to hit pan. Now I kind of, maybe you might say that I cheated a little bit, but for my pan that palette, I had a color, was it mink? No, fawn, the color fawn in my pan that palette. If you guys saw my last update for that color, I only had product like around the rim of the pan. So what I did is I repressed it, but I took out a chunk of that graffiti color and I mixed it in with that shade and then I repressed it. So I had like a, like a taupey green shade and I loved how that looked. So I think I'm gonna keep using this one um, a little bit. Maybe I'll mix it with like a chunk of this color. Um, that was a recommendation that you guys gave me. So thank you for that recommendation. But I hit pan, um, I think it's a pretty, I think it's a pretty good size pan. It's not like a speck of pan or anything. Um, so I'm happy with that uh, progress. So I'm gonna count it as done. Then I also, um, for the category of six perfume samples, I used up six perfume samples. <laughs> I have this one from Tory Burch, the rose one. Then I have one from Chloe, that's the original scent. Then Daisy from Marc Jacobs. Then this um, green one from Tory Burch. I tried to pronounce those in French last video. It didn't work out so well, so I'm not even gonna try. And then this one from Versace Bright Crystal. And then this last one, I only used half of it because it broke. Um, I had used it once, and then it was maybe like two thirds, I should say. And then I don't know how it happened. One day I was getting ready and I knocked something over, fell and it shattered. So I wasn't able to use this one up completely and it was unfortunate because I really enjoyed this scent the one and only time I used it. <laughs> so that's that. And then for the last category that I used up was the category of something glittery and that was my um, Urban Decay color in Big Bang. So there you guys can see I finished it up completely. It's that one pan that you guys are seeing. So spoilers for my Panda palette <laughs> because this palette is in my Panda palette for 2017. So there you go. Oh, the lighting fixed itself. Yay. So there you go. Used it up completely. I'm wearing it today. I used up the last application of it today on my lips. Um, so yes, I do have a full size like regular lipstick tube of it so it's not like I don't have it to use it in the future but it's just done for my panda palette so there you go those are the four items that I used 
Now I have the rest. Let's go with the ones that you can't really tell progress on. For what, the first one is this one. This is a Tarte Eyelash Primer in the opening act. I think that's the name of this product. And this was for the category of something from Tarte. So there you go. You can't tell anything. Uh, the writing has been rubbed off, but there's still quite a bit of product left in here. It's not dry. It's still, um, like it still deposits a good amount of it, a good amount of product in my lash la in my lashes when I use it. So I think maybe one more month I've been using it. I don't use it every day because when I use waterproof mascara, I don't need that. Um, so maybe next month we'll be done. Maybe a little bit longer. I'm not sure. Then for the color, for the category of everyday staple, I went with an eyeshadow primer because I use eyeshadow primer every day. And I, I'm using this one from Laura Geller. This is the Waterproof Eye Spackle in the color Fair Light. Like I said, I use it every day. This has a brush applicator. You twist it from the bottom and then the product comes up through the little brush. Um, because of the packaging, I have no idea how much I have in here, but it's still working, it's still giving me product, so I'll just keep using it. Then the next category was something in a tube, and I went with this Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. Um, I did make some progress on this one. I'm gonna try to insert a picture so you guys can see um, how much wider it was up here. When last month, when I um, put this one in this project, so. I'm gonna, hopefully you guys can see the difference. There should be a picture up already. But yes, that is the progress so far on this little guy. This is in the color Neutral Medium and it's a travel size. So I really like it. A little bit of, a little bit of product goes a long, long way. So that's gonna last me for a while. I can tell you that for sure. Then for the item that I have a love-hate relationship with, is this Benefit Highbrow Pencil. And I no longer have a love-hate relationship with this product. Now I have a like relationship. I don't really love it, but now I've found a way to work, um, to make it work. And this is again, thanks to you guys. One of you guys recommended for me to use this as a highlighter. Um, and that's what I've been using. So let me show you guys my progress. That is my progress, see that's at the bottom. And that is my progress. Last time I was at that black line where you see that number three. And then I made, compared to the previous uh, updates, as you guys can see, I have made quite a bit of progress. So, and I haven't been using this every day. So if I am really dedicated and I use this every day, I can finish it fairly quickly, I think. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I have figured out a way to use it and I can tolerate it, so. And the last item that I have here is um, for the category of a lip product. And I picked up this Bite Beauty Lip Primer. And as you guys can see, this is all I have left. Oh, you guys can't see that. <laughs> that is all that I have left. And then I marked it here on the cap. It's a little bit crooked, but I marked it nonetheless there you go that's how much I have so I made a little bit more than halfway progress through the month uh, but I didn't even use it every day maybe I used it maybe two weeks if that if I had used it every day this would have been gone but I'm sure that this will be gone for the next update so there you go guys those are the items so since I finished one, two, three, four. I finished four items. That means that I need to pick out four categories. And I am at random.org and I'm gonna go from one through, how many categories are left? There are 34 categories left. So one through 34. And the first number is 21. Oh, a full-sized item. <laughs> That's just great. Uh, I need a pen to mark these. The next one is 24. Oh man, a chapstick or lip balm. <laughs> chapstick or lip balm. Darn it. Next one, number six. Oldest item in my collection. This is gonna be hard because 
I've been using a lot of things in my collection lately. Um, so I don't have like the things that I knew that were super old have already been finished. So now I'm going to have to like really think about when I bought something. So anyway, the last one is let it be a one in the thirties. Ah, 34. <laughs> and that's the last one. A product I dislike. Why? 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 You know what? I just realized. Okay. Those, so those are my four items. But I just realized I forgot to mention an item. And I remembered because I saw it on the list here. <laughs> and that item is something orange. There was something in the category of something orange. And it is this, um, what do you call it? Nail polish. <laughs> it's this nail polish from the Sephora house brand. Uh, this is for my project polish update. And then this is for my product, for my rolling project pen progress. So because I just filmed my update for my project polish, I'm going to show you guys, this is my progress right here. And I haven't marked it for the project rolling project pan, but the line is going to be right about there. So I just have it, um, different because I film it on different days, but it just happened that I happened to film both of the videos on the same day. So yeah, that's going to be my progress right there. So about halfway through almost done with this one. So anyway, okay, now let me go pick up the four items that I need to sub in. This is a little bit hard, but we'll see. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back with the items that I picked. So I'm just going to show you guys what they are. For the um, oldest item in my collection, I went with this Bare Minerals Loose Eyeshadow in the color Starlight. Um, and this is what it is. It's kind of like a pinky... It's kind of like a pinky color about halfway done you I don't know if you guys will be able to see but I'm like kind of like halfway done here uh, but this is a loose um, pinky shadow I'm gonna give you guys a swatch so you guys can see and these loose pigments you guys know that you don't need a lot to make it work so ooh, can you even see that that's right there um, I figured I can use this as, a, as an eyeshadow or maybe even a facial highlight. Um, I will have to play with it. These, um, I have two of these in a different color, um, obviously. But um, this one, these eyeshadows are maybe some of the oldest products in my collection. I am going to try to maybe repress it, see if that works. Um, but yes, this is for the item, for oldest item in my collection. Then for the full-sized item... I went with this um, blush from MAC. This is a cream blush in the color Posy. And I got this because of Candy Johnson. She used to talk this up a lot. And this is what it looks like right now. I have a tiny, tiny, tiny dent in it. I am working right now on a blush from e.l.f. that is almost done, that is in another project. So as soon as I'm done with that one, I will jump into this one. And this one is in the products I want to use up in 2017. So I figured it would be perfect to add it for this project. Then for the one for lip balm or lip ch chapstick or lip balm category, I went with this one from Fresh. This is the Advanced Therapy, Sugar Advanced Therapy, the white one. This one doesn't have any color. However, That's how much I have left. And I'm not gonna mark it right now. I'm actually gonna put it in the freezer for a little bit. And then I'm gonna mark it because I wish you could, guys could see, um, you probably can't, but this one mel was melting a little bit and I kind of ruined it right now when I was trying to see how much I had left. So that's how much I have. See, now it's not going down. So I'm gonna have to put it in the freezer um, because if I push it down right now, I'm just going to squish that product. So I'm going to leave it like this for now. I'll put it in the freezer, wait for it to harden a little bit and then push it down. And then for the last item product, I dislike, um, you guys know that I try to keep my project pans completely and exclusively for makeup. But as I was looking through my collection, there's nothing that I really don't dislike. Um, the only thing that I could have thought of was that benefit highbrow, but now I like, now I like it because now I know how to use it. 
So I unfortunately I didn't go with a makeup item for this product for this category. I went with this Bumble and Bubble Preta Powder um, Dry Shampoo and I don't like it. This is also in the products I want to use up in 2017. I have two little samples of these and when I started the project in January I was right here. Right now for the for the introduction for this project I'm where those little stars are and that's how much I have. I don't like it because I don't think I'm using it right. Um, this is a loose powder. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. No, you can't see. There's like a tiny little hole here and that's where the powder comes out. And you're supposed to put it like on your hair like this. But somehow I always manage to either put a lot and this gives a lot of volume. And I'm obviously putting a lot of product in here because I can't even run my, my fingers through my hair when I use this. It's like my hair, like my hands like <laughs> get stuck right here and then I can't even like part my hair like this. I can't do that because this thing like, it looks like, you guys know how when you tease your hair, how the hair feels? That's how this makes my hair feel. So that's why I'm saying maybe I'm putting too much product but I don't like it. I haven't figured out a way to make it work for me and I just hate it. I hate it with a passion. <laughs> so um, usually what I end up doing is I put some of this and I put my hair up. That's how I've made the progress that I have made so far. I had picked two, I figured six months for each, but obviously, I mean, we're at the end of April and I've only made that much progress. I doubt I'm gonna finish this by the end of June so I can start the other one in July, but we'll see how much progress I, I can do with this little guy. So there you go, guys. Those are my, uh, let me fix my hair now. So that's it guys, those are the 10 products that I will be working on for the next month. Um, really the only thing I foresee finishing is that lip balm, I'm that lip balm, that lip primer from Bite Beauty. And I think that's it because everything else is pretty, pretty brand new or I can't see the progress of it. So maybe that lip balm, since it only had like this much left, um, but I don't know, we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye.